Hello, Mia. <laughs> Welcome. But were you busy with? Were you eating something? <laughs> no, I was just started another class. Ah, I see. You have another online class, huh? I see. Oh, okay. Is it finished? Are you done with it? No, not yet. Okay, then let's start quickly so that <laughs> you can go there. No problem. Okay, so I will share. You know the speaking test already? We had it one time, but we couldn't record it, unfortunately. That's why we will start again. But let me check this time before we start. Uh, what, what was your class about? What is it about? What? What was your class about, online class? My class? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so all right, now I'm recording as well, so we can start. First of all, Mia, as we did before, you will talk about yourself, your family, your city, your interests, and everything. So I will give you 30 seconds, first of all, then you will have two to three minutes to talk. So first, 30 seconds, you can just think and take notes. Okay, if you are ready, we can start now. Yeah. Hello, my name is Mia. I'm 13 years old and I'm in grade 7 of Wang Chung Secondary School. My school is an old school, but there are a lot of friendly friends, so I very love it. My hope, uh, I live in Thai Nguyen City in Vietnam. I very like my city because it's a peaceful and green um, green city in uh, in Vietnam. It's popular with green tea. Uh, my hobby is drawing. I spend all my free time with my hobby. Um, also, I draw some funny story in my free time with my older brother. There are four members in my family. Uh, it's my uh, mom, my dad, my older brother, and me. We all very familiar, but sometimes they make me so uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> well, why? Why do they make you uncomfortable? <laughs> uh, they ask me to do dif difficult things. Sometimes mom and dad too lazy so they asked me to uh, clean the house. Uh, the house works. <laughs> so the meals uh, also care, uh, fed my pets. Uh -huh. They asked me to do everything. Oh my God. <laughs> they just surfing Facebook and <laughs> sleeping. You should you, you you should tell them that like I have a lot of uh, online classes and like uh, speaking tests or something like that. I have extra classes with teacher John, so you can just don't do it. Like just don't do it and tell them that like I have class with teacher John. I will back up you. <laughs> Never mind. They, they, they would not survive. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, so yeah. the second part is story ending. So we studied this one approximately three weeks ago, I guess. So let me read this one first, then you will finish your story. And actually tomorrow in class, I will announce the winner of the story ending competition. Okay, Billy Bones, an old sailor, died at the hotel. He said about the box to Jim Hawkins. Jim opened the box and found the treasure map. Jim, the Squire, Dr. Lacey, Long John Silver, and his friend sailed away to the Treasure Island. One day, Jim heard what John Silver said to his friends. They were talking about stealing the treasure and the ship. 
Jim told this plan to the doctor and the squire. They arrived on the island. So what's next, Mia? Uh, after, after I told the doctor and the squire about the terrible plan, we debate to how uh, we, we debate what we're going to do to escape from Long John Silver. Uh, 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 Long John Silver. <laughs> After arrived to the, the Castle Island, <laughs> after we arrived to the Castle Island, we follow the castle map and go to a jungle on the island. We spend all the day to follow the map and finding the castle. Uh, there was a lot of chop on the island but i but i didn't tell the so long john silver grill about the chat so they all got it uh, until they just long john silver can uh, could follow it uh, until night we decide to uh, uh, camp on a, a, a dry place on the uh, inside the dark jungle. We all decide that we will uh, continue our journal uh, in the next morning. Early in the next morning, Dr. Dr. Lipsy whispered with me, get up Jin Hoin, we, we have to do, we have to leave the Long John Silver while he's still sleeping. I answered, uh, I was trained the plan last night. When everyone was ready to continue our journey, uh, we follow. Uh, we continue to follow the map, and finally we found the chaser. After back to the the ship, long long John Silver. Uh, Point a gun uh, to us, and he sat. Uh, 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 got uh, put uh, put up the chassis and then go backward. We follow them, and then uh, Long John Silver pick up all the chassis, then sail away. At this time, uh, the squire asked me, "So what will we do now?" The chest will have gone. I answered. Last night, uh, that wasn't the real chest. That night, when I hold the map under the moonlight, I it's because uh, it became different. It also told me that there was another boat on this jungle. We will find the uh, we will find the chest then back home by the, uh, that boat. Dr. Lipsy and the squires was very surprised and they all said together that it's time to fight in Chester again. The end. The end. Wow. Okay. I remember your story. It's one of the interesting ones. Like because like this moonlight story is so interesting. It's really smart to find. Very good. I think like I decided to choose three or four winners actually because like there are really really good stories so I will uh, announce tomorrow in our class but I think you will get one of them <laughs> that's my opinion let's see okay so this is part three you will choose two questions and you will talk about it for two to three minutes again so which one do you want to talk about first Number two, dream school. Okay. So what's your dream school like? Yeah. For me, education for the kids is very important. So uh, also mm, when we choose the right school is also very important too. Uh, in my opinion, a dream school has to be uh, have a good physical 
also a very very good education. So will there have to be a uh, uh, many uh, great teacher that can uh, uh, explain very well the lesson for the kids and teach them some interesting thing, make them be uh, very interested with the lesson. The students should be hardworking and uh, friendly with their friends. Also, uh, that will be a po politely, uh, politely area for everyone. Uh, I think the a dream school also uh, a dream school will be very uh, uh, will be very uh, great if there are some program teacher program teacher and the student can uh, learn a lot about other language. Mm -hmm. that, uh, Okay, that's great. So I have a question for you, Mia. I don't know what you think about it, so I want to know. For example, in the Philippines, I know from teacher Maria, all of their classes are English. Normally, their native language is Filipino. They speak Filipino. But all of the classes in the Philippines are English, like maybe 90% of it, like math, science, PE, everything. So what do you think about it? If we do it in Vietnam, you think that it will work? Is it better for students or not? What do you think? I think that's also a good idea, but I, I still not really sure about this. Mm -hmm. We also have to uh, uh, learn about our mother language. Mm -hmm. uh, we mm -hmm. will know about our traditional before we uh, learn more about some other language. languages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's great. Yeah, I think you're. Uh, I'm agree, I agree with you. Like in in my country, for example, we don't have like English classes at all. Like it's not common. So, but it's good because I want to know my native language, as you said, because it's beautiful. It's really nice to know your native language. So, yeah. It's an interesting idea. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> what about the second question? Uh, uh, number three. Number three. Number five. Number five, okay. What are your opinions about online classes at New Horizons? Okay, interesting. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, we all know about the normal classes. Uh, it's also very interesting we can meet our friends and we can play with them we can learn a lot about many things with the teacher but online class classes is also a great idea for all the students uh, first thing i think with the online class we uh, don't have to uh, spend time for traveling we uh, don't have to uh, get outside or it's especially when the virus is spread everywhere. Uh, on, uh, secondly, online classes uh, very uh, it's very good because uh, teacher can move the student so they want to make noise. They uh, when uh, do uh, some thing that make some really crazy noise. I hate it, but. Uh, uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> um, the, uh, the, in the conclusion, I think online classes is very important and really interesting one. Mm -hmm. You think that it's effective then? It's useful, right? Yeah, exactly. Yes, because sometimes in class, like if a class is crowded, uh, some students can get excited and they start to talk a lot like they just speak out like everyone is like just speaking in class for example so it can affect the class but in as you said in online classes like we can just mute everyone and even if they don't they talk we just don't hear them which is great <laughs> which is great okay Mia thank you so much it was like great as usual you did a great job so thank you so much. See you tomorrow then. Bye-bye. <laughs>